Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to expand and collapse groups. So see, I'm clicking on this icon here and it's showing this text. And as I hide it, things shift up below it. And if you notice here, uh, I can do multiple groups and nothing will move because we've got groups in the way here. But if I collapse them all, then this shifts back down. And all of this stuff here is inside of an outer group there. And if I click on an icon down at the bottom, you can see that even the outer group expands with it too. So I'm going to show you how this works. All right, so the first thing to understand about how this works is that the property you're looking for is on the group element. Um, if I go, this is actually a group here that's containing all of these icons and this text here. So if I just show you real quick on this group, this group B, uh, at the bottom here we have collapse this element's height when hidden. Okay, so what happens is when you enable this, when the group is hidden, if it's not visible, the entire height of it will just completely go to zero. There will be no height for it. So anything below the group will just shift up. It'll take up that space. So you have to have that enabled in order for that to happen. And you have an, an optional option here. Um, if you want to give it a little extra pizzazz there, you can check that and it'll give you a little animation. Um, anytime you toggle the visibility of the group, it can slide or it can also fade. I'm just going to leave that off right now, but you can play around with that and see what that looks like. So uh, this is the important thing is you want to check this off. Collapse this element's height when hit it. So I'm actually, I don't want to do it to this group here, so I'm going to uncheck that. What I want to do it is for this text here. So in order for this text to collapse, what do I need to do? I need to put it inside of a group because the group is the only element that has that feature. Um, the quickest way to get this element in a group uh, when the text is already on the page is to right click it and hit here, group elements in a group, group them together. It's okay if there's just one element, it'll still work. So if I select that, very subtle change here. Um, you notice that my property editor switched over to the new group here. If I actually open this up here, you can see my text inside my group. All right, and I'm gonna just color the group so that we can see it. Uh, we'll do a little darker there. All right, so now we can see the group and this is the text inside of it. All right, so the group, we're gonna call this group uh, text, okay? Now at the bottom here, I'm going to enable this option, collapses elements height when hidden. And I need some way to toggle the visibility of this group. So I'm gonna use this uh, icon to toggle this group. So I'll click on that icon to start edit workflow and I'm going to go to element actions and then toggle. So the toggle action just switches back and forth between visibility for an element. So I'm going to select my group text. That's what I want to toggle. And let's preview that for right now. OK, so by default, my group is visible there. Now I'm going to toggle it off. And you can see that everything below the group shifted up. OK, now I'm going to show you real quick with the animation turned on gives it a little, nice little touch to it. So we'll do a sliding effect, refresh my page. Okay, so let's see what it looks like there. So now you can see it's a little bit more, a little animation there. Okay, now what happens if I have an element, let's just do like a random shape here, in the way of this space, okay? So this element, is set to collapse its height and everything below it will naturally take its space above. But what if we have an element here that isn't set to collapse in any way, but it's kind of in the way of um, that open space? I'll show you what happens there. Okay, so I'm gonna toggle. See how it's like this shape just stops everything up to the point where the shape is. So the things come up, everything, these icons down here come up a little bit, but this shape is now kind of a roadblock. So this is something to keep in mind that if for some reason you're, you know, you've got this all set up properly, but the things below it aren't shifting up, make sure that you don't have any other elements um, in that horizontal plane that the collapsing group is also taking up. So if you have other stuff in the way that isn't set to collapse, you gotta get them out of the way or you gotta set them to collapse as well. So a good way to get around this 
um, if I need this shape here, is to put the shape inside of a group as well and also set that group to collapse. Okay, and this also goes for groups, or I'm sorry, for elements that are, are not visible. Okay, whether this shape is visible or not, it's still going to be in the way of these icons shifting up into that space. Okay, so now I'm just going to complete the rest of these um, text for all of the icons. So this is something that you can, this is just kind of like a little demo as if you had an info uh, area for your app's landing page or something. So you've got different pieces of information underneath representative icons there. So I'm just going to copy these. All right, so I've added these text groups um, to each of the icons and I've also programmed each icon to open up their respective group there. Now what I'm going to do is um, turn off the visibility of these groups by default so that when the user comes onto the page they're actually seeing just the icons to start out and it can be up to them to toggle any one of them open. Okay so here we have all of those text elements are collapsed and uh, we can see that these icons have shifted up nothing's visible now if I open up this one it pushes everything below down I can open that one and you notice that it's a little bit subtle, but all of these things are in a lightly colored group here, um, kind of uh, highlighting the boundary with my cursor right now. But you can see that if I toggle this bottom one, that group also grows um, and contracts. It expands and contracts with this action here. If you found the tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below and uh, you know leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. If there's anything specific that you want to learn, let me know. Um, also, if you just have any clever ways of using this feature, um, it's really great to learn from each other. So leave a comment below and uh, let everyone else know how you're using it. And also subscribe to the channel. There are tutorials being uploaded all the time. And thanks for watching.